Okay, now they're getting like Jack has bit. got to make a good, strong run at the clock. She wants to get way up far outside. A good, long run. Keep that. There he is. Hard. Oh, yeah. Keep Looks like he's going to do just that, Steve. He must be listening. Must be. Okay, lane one's going to be the jackpot. Lane two, the KISW. Lane three, and lagging back just a little bit. And getting a little wet also is Todd Yarling in the U.S. West. Cellular end on the outside. Jack Schaefer, Jr., all a little bit on the early side. They're backing down. Now here comes... Here comes the U.S. West up the middle. Good start for Todd. And he comes charging down into that first corner up front. The U.S. West Cellular. Todd's getting a good ride without that wing. Not bad at all. Very good ride. Although he's cornering out about the seven lane, and uh, that's the inside lane track for him at this point. He's still got lots of boat speed as he comes out of that turn. Everybody getting through nice and clean. Hey, the boat ride looks very nice. Well, they may leave. The, whoa, whoa, look out. They may leave the back of that off, Mike. Well, as he mentioned, every single surface is a planing surface, and you yes. don't really know what a boat's going to do without it. But this particular boat looking pretty good, and that's the U.S. West Cellular. This one, however, is not looking so good, and that's the KISW trailing in fourth place right now. Up into the upper corner now. Here's the U.S. West. And this will be a real test of the water. We'll take a look and see how Todd handles this. He handles it very nicely. As a matter of fact, comes off the corner very nicely. Winning one for Mom and for the phone company. And looking good. U.S. West Cellular. What kind of speed on that, Mike? That one looks like 110 miles an hour. Not too bad at all, actually. For a boat that doesn't have a lot of control surfaces, aerodynamic control surfaces, that's not bad. Jack Schaefer comes across at 98.5, not giving much chase. The jackpot is lagging back in third place. Jackpot Food Mart as we watch Todd move through that lower corner. Jackpot gets an 88. And 83.7 miles an hour for the Miss Rock. Here's your leader. Down the back chute. Steve, they actually can learn a little bit without those wings, can't they? When they see what the boat does all yes, by they itself, can. can they not? Yes, they can. If they get a good feel of the boat, how the boat runs without the controlled surfaces on there, get a good idea how it, how better it can run with them on there. And as a matter of fact, interestingly enough, uh, back east, they were taking the wing off the Circus Circus and trying to see what it would do without that. Here's Just Todd thinking. now, off the corner, very wide, keeps the RPMs up, points the nose south again, gets on it. He's handling the rollers really quite nicely. He's getting a bounce, plenty of bounce, all right, but he's still handling quite nicely. Here's a boat that's a little heavier coming through the corner, and that's, of course, the uh, Miss Northwest with Jack Schaefer. He's coming through it nice and clean, too. 111.2 for U.S. West on lap number two. Jack Schaefer now coming down. And he points his nose across at 98.5. Jerry Hopp out of the north turn now. Considerably down on speed, but holding uh, third place down. Checker flying from the barge now for this fellow. Todd Yarling, he also laps Jack Schaefer, comes down to finish and win the consolation race for the Seafair Rainier Cup. And what a business this represents, a comeback for this team because they were trashed already this morning. Tremendous comeback for these guys. 99.5 for the final lap, and Todd's got to be feeling good, but he's bouncing around in there. You can see that. He's getting a rough ride. Right. I'll tell you something. You get run over as he got clipped. His boat went down, and he got clipped in 1A, and he comes back to pick up a fifth place, and then he comes out and wins the consolation. Uh, that's a little more than they may have expected out of this day after what happened at noon. You're right about that. There's Jack Schaefer, elbow out the window. He's, I think he's yelling <laughs> over to Boatman saying, say, uh, fella, <laughs> you got an engine? <laughs> We Those it. little blinking lights, by the way, are dry, and he's the crew chief for the U.S. West Cellular Boat. A lot of emotion going on down here right now. Not only the winning of the consolation race for Todd's mom, but just getting the boat back out on the course. He's giving all the credit to you guys and the crew. Yeah, we had a real rough start in the first heat, and uh, everybody pulled together, and we put the boat back together. We weren't really sure if it was going to get up on a plane without the cowling and the wing, but she pulled together, and we did a good job. One of the crew